What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today it is finally time for a numbers collection update for you guys. So yes, of course, if you don't know about these videos, basically I update my collection of my different number monsters. Uh, we've done this for a few years now, I think, anyway, and uh, we're still actually missing a few number monsters that aren't printed yet. But for my collection, I think I'm caught up now, and I think I have every number monster that's been released so far. Except for prize cards, I guess. That might be the only exception. Other than that, though, the binder has more and more cards in it, so it's always fun to look through these. So, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go through it. Also, if you guys want to see more collection videos in the future, let me know by uh, telling me in the comments and also hitting that like button. It shows that you want to see more videos like this because I thought about doing like an Ultimate Rare Collection, an update for that, and some of my other different binders that I have, too. So, let me know. Anyway, let's get to it. So yeah, first off, we have our different forms of Utopia, like the different, like, zero versions, I guess. So we have a Utopic Future, Utopic Zexel, and then we have Future Slash, which I don't think I had this one last time. So it's pretty cool. It was, uh, like, a promo card for Japan, so we don't have it yet in English. So it's just kind of a placeholder right now. Then, yeah, I know I don't have enough spots for some of the other numbers, like 1 through 5, basically. But, um, whenever they get announced, I'll, I'll move all the cards around. <laughs> That's I'm just waiting, because I know I'm going to have to move all the cards, because I try to keep them in order. Then we have uh, number 5, which is still a monster that we're missing, too. That was, like, in a special, uh, I think it was, like, premium pack or something for Japan. So, that's one we're missing. Chaos version, number 6 as well. Sorry if there's a bit of glare, too, with the... Uh, with a binder, I mean, <laughs> it's almost impossible not to have a little bit of glare, so hopefully you guys can tell on everything. But yeah, we have the Chaos version number six. Number seven, one of my favorite numbers, I love his design. Then of course just going down the list, even have my ultimate rare of number nine. Yeah, that's kind of the thing too on this number binder. If they have multiple rarities, I sometimes have all the rarities in this. As long as it's like cool holographic rarities, you know, like ultimate rares and ghost rares and stuff, obviously I'm going to try to have those different rarities. Chaos Forms as well. Then Illuminate. For Illuminate, I just have my Secret Rare and then also the Ultimate Rare. I keep thinking about maybe making room for the uh, for the Ultra Rare as well, just because it looks cool. Then we have number 11, of course. First Edition Secret Rare. I remember I've had that since even when this card was really expensive. I mean, I was lucky enough to get one of those back in the day. I remember it was like a $100 card, and I was like, nope, still not going to sell it. I, I thought about it. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I want to keep it. And then, of course, they even have the Ultimate Rare version, which was in, yeah, Astro Pack. Astro Pack 6, I guess. So that one's really cool. I like that. Then number 12, and it's Ultimate Form, which always tries to run away. I might have to upgrade my binder and get a better binder. I think this one's kind of wearing out on me. Then, yeah, we have some gold versions of them. Gimmick Puppet, number 15, and Chaos Form. Shopmaster, I always wonder if this card could uh, make a comeback. Number 17 as well. Have our Secret Rare version from the 10, by the way. And then, of course, after that, we have our Ultimate Rare, which, again, he's kind of trying to run away. There we go. There's the Ultimate Rare, and then the Ghost, which, man, that's kind of tough to show on camera. You probably see my reflection more in the cards. There we go. Okay, I think you guys can see it pretty well. That's awesome, too. I love the Ghost Rares that I have in this. 18. And yeah, going down the list of different number cards, having our Ultimate Rare of Giga Brilliant. I remember being so happy when they announced that. Just kind of a, a random Ultimate Rare. And then Zombie Stein, and even Lancelot. Those two are cool. They're manga promos. Number 24, this one actually went up in price recently. Whenever the Vampire Sport came out, yeah, there was a little bit of hype around it. I think it's died down now, so you might want to pick up one of these uh, now, if it is cheaper. I don't know. <laughs> it shot up in price there for a while. I think it's like a couple of bucks now again. Force Focus, the ultimate rare. And here's one of our brand new cards. This one is number 27. So, yeah, this card is awesome, too. It's in our new uh, Battles of Legend set. And uh, I love this card anyway because it can help you bring out some higher rank uh, XE monsters. So it's actually a lot of fun to use. And uh, they are working on everything to just look amazing. So uh, its name is Dreadnought Dreadnoid. And I'm happy I got one of those because they're actually kind of tough to get the new number monsters. Number 28, remember fighting to get that one. Then also number 29, uh, we still don't have this one in English. It's like Cat Mannequin, I think it's the name, or Mannequin Cat, one or the other. <laughs> so yeah, we're still missing that. Promos and everything, too. Number 30. That might have been the last Shonen Jump promo, if I remember correctly, for the physical magazine, of course. Number 32. Then our Ultimate Rare. Also include the Gold Rare, because I like it. <laughs> and also it goes well with the Chaos version, when you have the Ultra, Ultimate, and then another Ghost Rare right there, which, there. I think you guys can see it fairly well. <laughs> it looks awesome. I love Ghost Rares. I really want to see Ghost Rares return. Then we have uh, Machu Mech. have a few of those. Terabyte. And Terabyte's the only one that has an altar art. Can you believe that? Out of all the number monsters, Terabyte's the only one that already has an altar art and the others don't. I thought that was so random. I mean, it's cool looking, but man, is it random. 
Then, of course, here's uh, number 38. This is one of the more expensive number cards. It's going to get a reprint, though. I think it's in the next special edition, if I'm not mistaken. So it'll be a lot cheaper to get for people out there that are kind of waiting to get one. Then now we're moving on to our Utopias. And there's a lot of Utopia. Obviously, if you guys know from the show and everything, yeah, there's, there's quite a few forums. He takes up basically just about two pages worth. <laughs> because here's the other page full of them. Have our Ghost Rare of Utopia Ray, which, again, looks amazing. Then, of course, uh, Utopia Ray V, and then Victory, Ultimate Rare, Roots, then, <laughs> you know, Prime, Beyond, then even Utopia of the Lightning. Uh, I went on ahead, I put my uh, Secret Rare version in this from the Legendary Collection Kaiba. I don't know, I'm still debating on I might have my Ultra Rare next to it. Who knows? Looks amazing that it was a Secret Rare. And gimmick Puppets, moving on to those. Baguska, I went with the, uh, the reprint of an Ultra Rare, because that's kind of a rarity boost. So, yeah, <laughs> instead of going with the Super Rare. Galaxy Tomahawk, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, a bunch of the, kind of the usual cards, really. Nightmare Shark's actually a little bit pricey, too. I checked on that one the other day for, I, I forget why, I just looked it up, I was like, wait, <laughs> that one's actually a little bit tougher to find, so you might want to try to trade for those. What else do we have? Shadow Lynch. Uh, this is the one, it's actually a holographic for Japan. I wish it was a hollow for us, just because it looks cool. You know, it's just that simple. What's the other ones? Black Ship of Corn. Remember, people using that one. Diamond Crab, that's another one that's actually pretty good. Heart Earth, that goes with number 92. Everything on that. Go Go Goliath, basically, too. Gold Rat, it's pretty cool to see all these two. I remember when these were all first announced and talking about them when they were in Japan. I have number uh, 58, too. It always looks like a Bakugan. Then a missing spot here, because we don't have a number 60 so far. Then 61, one of my favorite number monsters. There we go. And probably my favorite number monster is number 62. I mean, when you have Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's really awesome. The only thing that aggravates me about him is I wish he would have been a Ghost Rare. You know, for Primal Origin, I really wish he could have been the Ghost Rare for that set. That would have made sense. He was the cover card, but they didn't do it that way. So <laughs> that's one of the things that kind of makes me sad because I would love to have a Ghost Rare version of him. Then we have uh, Ronin Raccoon. That's another really good number monster. You never know if it's going to come back. I swear, it's kind of a funny one. Then we have another brand new number monster. This one is number 67, Paradise Smasher. So I think this guy kind of looks funny. I, I like the idea with him. I kind of like monsters that are luck-based, kind of like with number 7. They're not the most useful, <laughs> but it's pretty cool, too. I like that sort of theme. So that's another one of our new number monsters. Again, one that's kind of tough to find, actually. A little bit. I don't think it's expensive, but getting out of a box was kind of tough. I only got like one out of two boxes. Number 70 on that one, too. 71. So yeah, it's just cool that I'm actually filling up pages of this collection now, too. Number 74, Master of Blades. And here's another one of our new ones. You guys remember this probably from that opening I did where I opened up, was it five or six packs? I think it was five packs of uh, Battles of Legend. And then we got number uh, 75, uh, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. So, yeah, that was the card. I called it. I was like, please give me that card next, and it worked. So, yeah, this card, it's gained a little bit of hype here and there. It's always one of those that all of a sudden goes up prize, goes back down. It is a good card, though. So that's a good number to pick up. And we don't have a spot for a number 76. You know, we don't have one of those yet, I should say. <laughs> we have the spot ready. Okay, and moving on. I have a lot of different battling boxers and stuff to go along with that. Then, of course, uh, number uh, 81. One of my favorites. You know, rank 10. He's pretty cool. What else do we have here? Just kind of a lot of different ones for, like, number hunters and superstars and, and different stuff, too. So we've had these for a while, but it's just cool to look through the pages, really. And, of course, I do have one of number 89, but this is not the prize card. <laughs> Obviously, it's not the prize card. Yeah, I got the Japanese version because I'm going to wait until it's reprinted in English or something. I'm not going to spend... Three, five hundred, I don't know how much it is right now uh, for a prize card to add to this collection. If I get a prize card, I'll probably have it separate in like a special case, honestly, not in a binder. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait till it's reprinted before I get one to put in the binder. But for now, uh, you know, I'm fine with my uh, Japanese version. It's a lot cheaper. <laughs> then, of course, we have a number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. So that's another new number monster, one that came out in Battles of Legend. And again, uh, another one I was really happy about. I can't wait to use this card, too. New Galaxy Eyes support on the Horizon, and I can't wait. And some other cards, number 92. Even the ultimate rare version of 92. Then, of course, to go along with that, we have another Ghost Rare. So, yeah, 92 as a Ghost Rare is another one that is really awesome looking. You just can't go wrong with that. 
Then we have another uh, version of Utopia, Utopia Kaiser. It is uh, number 93, and again, it's a prize card, so I'm using the Japanese version until it gets reprinted. Hopefully, we'll see it in something. I, I don't know. I was hoping maybe we would eventually see it, like in Battles of Legend. Maybe next year. I don't know. I'll just keep hoping for it for now. Haha. <laughs> and I didn't mean to do that either, so <laughs> that that's funny. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I entertain myself, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we have Crystal Zero, as well as technically the chaos form to it. It's not, but it is, so I, you know, add it as part of this. Number 95, remember that one quite well. <laughs> Dragon Rulers, man. Dark Storm. Then we have uh, Anti-Utopian. I always thought he was cool. A Dark Utopia. It's actually pretty good. I can see that coming in handy. Number 99 and 100, the dragons, basically. They look cool. And then we're going past 100, so 101. And again, with this one, I have the uh, gold rare, kind of like with Shark Drake. Because I just think it looks cool. Then, of course, Ultimate Rare. Again, another one that kind of missed out, even though it was a, it was like a cover card, it didn't become a Ghost Rare. So, yeah. <laughs> that that kind of sucks. But a few of these, at least, that are kind of lower rarity, that are higher number monsters, have been reprinted. So we have, like, Ragna Zero as a holographic reprint, so that's really cool. Remember when that card was, like, at every deck there for a while? Not really the case anymore, but it is one of those I could always come back. Yeah, Battle of Boxers and stuff. Then we have number 106. Yeah, that was a prize card, and I waited, and it worked out. So that's why I'm just going to wait on the others, too. So I have my, my gold version, premium gold. Number 107, another one of my favorites. Probably my second favorite, because uh, my favorite's probably, I guess, Galaxy Eyes, to be honest. Prime, and then afterwards we have Tachyon. And then we have our Ultimate Rare, and then a Ghost Rare, Yes. This is one of my favorite cards I own, honestly. It just looks so cool as a Ghost Rare, and uh, yeah, it's one of the coolest cards out there. It's one of my favorite Xyz, and like I said, it's my second favorite number, is what I would say. There's the Chaos version. And then, of course, our Ultimate Rare uh, Chaos version of 107, and then uh, Chaos Xyz Barrier and Hope, because it's, um, it's kind of technically a number monster. It goes with them and stuff, too, so... Yep, there we go. That's the the collection video, so I hope you guys enjoyed I almost said opening. Man, you think I'm used to doing opening videos? But that, that's the collection video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more collection videos in the future, because like I said, I mean, you guys know through all my openings, I collect a lot of Ultimate Rares. I have a binder full of my Ghost Rares, which... I don't think it's changed just a ton since we did an update on it. Uh, even some of my, uh, like, giant, like, case topper Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Thought about doing a video on that and promos that I have. And even just a binder where I have some of my favorite cards. So let me know if you'd like to see that kind of stuff in the future. And, of course, uh, whenever we get more number monsters, I'll continue to update this binder, which hopefully sooner than later. I think we're only missing a handful of cards now or something. So we're really close to finally finishing this collection, and I can't wait to have the full set of all the numbers. So, uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the like button you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, uh, like I said, different Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, whether it's collections, openings, uh, deck profiles, all kinds of stuff, news even. I, I try to keep you guys updated on everything, so subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.